the open plains of the asphalt jungle. Home to many creatures, great and small, and the pupping ground for one of the most clever and illustrious creatures, the plastic bag. Today we explore the cycle of life for this curious creature, the plastic bag, on its migration to its home, the Pacific Ocean. Once released into the wild, the plastic bag is unsure of itself. It falters at first, but soon, with some help from the wind, the bag will be airborne. This flight will be the first in its long journey towards its final destination, the garbage patch in the heart of the Pacific Ocean. Using the wind to guide it, the plastic bag moves across the city through the air. A city park. This park may at first seem an idyllic place for the plastic bag, but danger lurks round every corner. Here it will encounter many enemies, including one of the most dangerous, park services. Poor little fellow. Looks like his journey ends here. Meanwhile, our little bag has encountered one of nature's most deadly killers, the teacup Yorkie. Once the Yorkie has locked onto its victim, there's very little hope of survival. But using its superior size and deft maneuvering, our bag manages to escape the Yorkie's talons and flee for its life. Over the course of its miraculous migration, the plastic bag will cover vast distances through neighborhoods, across parks, and down city streets. It is now nightfall, and our highly advanced night vision cameras have managed to capture for the first time in history a plastic bag in pitch black. Phenomenal. The vast cement rivers of California home to literally dozens of animals. Many plastic bags will not make it out of here. The reeds and branches will see to that. As at home in water as it is on land or in the air, the bag's natural buoyancy makes it an excellent swimmer. It's close now and it can feel it. At last, the bag has reached the gateway to the open sea. Careful to avoid the mouths of hungry sea life that feed on the helpless plastic, the bag will travel hundreds of miles to join the thriving community of plastic known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. The Garbage Patch is a veritable plastic oasis where millions of tons of plastic garbage remain trapped by the currents. It is said to be twice the size of Texas. Never actually biodegrading, here the plastic bag can live indefinitely, peacefully coexisting with billions of other petroleum species before breaking into ever tinier plastic pieces, thus completing the plastic cycle of life. The life cycle of the Minnesota subspecies of plastic bag mirrors its cousins in California. In Minnesota, migratory plastic bags have been safely hibernating out of sight since December. Accumulating snowfalls see to that. Winter means pristine landscapes. As spring begins to melt the huge drifts and piles of snow, our humble servants reappear. Through March and April, other species of packaging, as if by magic, come out of hiding. Their destination is not the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, but our own signature streams and lakes. The Pacific, in fact, has two current-driven vortexes of floating debris, each 
hundreds of miles in diameter. Ours are smaller, but there are thousands of them. Our suburban ponds and open spaces provide sanctuary for the timid plastic bag and its neglected kin. But in the wild, they become killers of wildlife, birds, and fish, even as, over time, they break down into microscopic particles. Except for yard waste bags, a small number of states, cities, and nations have banned plastic bags. But not in Minnesota, not here. This spring, join one of the hundreds of organized litter cleanups in the Twin Cities area.